Here are some medium to advanced techniques for creating GIFs inside of GIMP. Whether you're using a GIF with a transparent background that you'd like to overlay on a single background, or if you're trying to add an object to an already existing GIF, in other words, something like adding this rock to this scene here, it's quite easy to do, and I will be sharing with you a couple plugins that can help you do that with ease. Let's get started. Okay. Now over on sourceforge.net, I'll leave a link in the description, we have a lot of plugins that we can download for GIMP. The ones that I'll be using are the uh, flatten layer groups and the interleave layers. And this will be all that we need really. If you scroll all the way at the bottom of the page, you'll see a couple instructions or information on each plugin and all the way at the bottom uh, before the footer, we have some installation information. All right, so jumping back into GIMP, to install these plugins, just go ahead and download them from SourceForge, then go to your menu bar, go to Edit, down to Preferences, and once inside of Preferences, go to the Folders section, look for Plugins, click on it, click on the first path, most likely, and over here on the right of this pop-up window, we have an icon so that we can show the location of these files in the file manager. So this should open your file manager inside of the plugins folder or even outside of the plugins folder. Simply go inside and paste your py, your .py, so your Python uh, scripts in here to activate or to install the plugins, if you will. What we'll be using is the OFN interleave layers and the flattened groups. They do mention on the website that you want these to be executable. So depending on your operating system, simply right click on it, go down to properties and make it executable. Okay, once we're done with that, we can close out of this pop-up window, restart GIMP to make sure that the plugins are activated and we can get started. In my case, I already have it activated, so I'll get started right away. First thing I'll do is only leave the background layers as visible. I'll click on the background. For the merge options, you can either go over to, I think it's image, down to merge visible layers, or you can do it from the uh, layers panel. Next, I'm going to merge all the layer groups into individual layers, and I'll be doing that using the plugin that we've installed, and this is the flatten layer groups. And there we have it. Now yours might ask you to confirm and put an index. I've optimized the script for myself. Unfortunately, I can't upload it to the website, but basically it's going to do the same. Simply leave the settings as they are, click on OK, and it will merge all of the layer groups into their own layers. Now, of course, I want to fuse uh, this floating island with the background itself. So I'll simply merge down. For this next part, we want to make sure that all of our layers are visible. So I'll hold down shift, click on the eyeball until everything is on. Then we can go up to image, down to interleave layers. And I want to interleave single layer under stack. So the sprite mode, I'll click on that. We'll get a drop down. I'll grab the background. I'll leave it to full opacity, the mode to normal and the merge to yes. Click on okay. And of course we get this little pop-up window here. I just wanted to demonstrate. And it's because the background layer is slightly bigger than the, the image, if we will. So I'll go right click on it, layer to image size, and then we can do this again. Click on okay. And this time, no issues. Everything is fused together. All right, with this done, of course, I no longer need the background layer and delete that. And here we have it. So in a moment, I'll show you how to optimize the GIF. But before that, let's go ahead and grab our rock. I'll bring it in here and put this all the way up for now. I want this rock on the ground here and I would like it to be on every other layer. It's going to be a static element that I'll be adding. It's similar to adding a watermark of some sort. So I have the rock selected. I'll go back to image down to interleave. And this time I want to interleave a single layer over a stack. So. I'm going to make sure to have the rock selected. Unfortunately, uh, this plugin does look at your other project files. This is why we have all of these extra layers. But as long as you know, you know, the name of your project or the layer you can find it, click on OK. Let's see. So let me go ahead and do layer to image size, back to image, title mode. Make sure we have our rock, click on OK. And there we have it. So now we no longer need this rock as it is now on every other layer. And it's really that simple using this plugin. Now, to optimize this, let's go to filters, animation, and what we're going to do is optimize difference. This is going to minimize the amount of pixels being used, which will give us a much lighter GIF. Here we can see how we've greatly reduced the amount of pixels that are being used. 
you want to see the playback of course you can go to filter animation playback play we have the duration of all the frames here and now for the word combine here since we optimize the difference so you know a lot of the pixels are missing so it has to combine the layers as it goes up building them so okay so i want this first one to last 500 milliseconds now to save your gift in order to export your gif simply let's export so shift Control e or you can go to your menu bar go to file export as okay now you can go down to extensions and look for the gif or simply i'll call this med meditation dot gif click on export and now we get a few options so you can write a comment to your gif if you want to interlace allows it to load faster for slow internet connections now of course you have to click on animation if you want this to be animated we have the option to loop forever if you uncheck this it'll play once and then stop so i'll leave loop forever next we have the delay between frames where unspecified so if you had any of these layers without the without the milliseconds then you could overwrite all of these layers using this number here only for where it's not specified next we have the frame disposal where unspecified and this is referring to the combine or replace then we have the use delay entered above for all frames this would overwrite the delay for all of the frames with this number and you have use disposal entered above for all frames so it would basically overwrite all of these disposals so the combine you can change it to replace simply by clicking on this and checking this checkbox all right so i'll leave it as it is and export and just like that we now have our gif you can see it's a very tiny file we haven't really lost much quality hit the thumbs up if you learned anything new and you can click on this video here to learn more about gimp